right, so there's a, this, these blue whales have some ex very distinct features that allow us to identify them as a blue whale and not some other type of uh, baleen whale. There's the big mom. And see the extreme wow. size difference there. We've got the juvenile uh, whale that's closer to us. Now, many times these younger animals, that one right there, can be quite curious. It might come right up to the boat, try and check us out, and see what, uh, what we're about. We're getting some oh, really dude. close I'm getting up some great video. Yeah, I bet. You might notice dude, the pigmentation <laughs> on the skin of uh, these whales and those are very similar or the pigmentation is very oh, geez, similar to really our, our own fingerprints. Uh, researchers take photographs of the pigmentation on top of their bodies and they're able to individually identify each animal. Oh shoot. Holy Blue whales cow, also have huge. It is a cow, actually. Very right. small, identifiable dorsal fins. So by taking a snapshot of the shape and size of the dorsal fin, oh, look at that, you can see the juvenile right underneath the surface there. Rolling around, that's its pec fin, that's its tail. Okay. Oh, rolling around on the surface. Well, once again, if you didn't know, the blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, and it also happens to be larger than any dinosaur that ever lived. Really massive animal. Not too often that we get to see blue whales uh, showing behavior like this, so this is a, a unique occasion. There's the tail of the juvenile whale, the smaller one. This is definitely a cow-calf pair. So the mother and her offspring. Okay, now that, that's the calf and it's upside down right now. It's swimming upside down. It seems like it's turning over. It's uh, acting rather playful. Okay, so the juvenile is still right there on the surface. Now here in the northern hemisphere, blue whales can reach a length of approximately 90 feet. 